Kurkuma is a home for more than 185,000 refugees. We are extremely happy to have a young global leaders together with us in Kurkuma. They look at different aspects of the Kurkuma camp and Kalebe settlement. It was important to come on the ground to see, to experience and to learn. We all come from very different contexts, professionally, geographically and also personally. I come as somebody with experience on growing up in the camp but also working to support population affected by war. I was motivated to come to feel that emotional connection with the people that we are writing about and writing for. Can you imagine? You have a refugee who has lost everything. When they arrive, we see them in very ill situation. They are malnourished. Their families are separated. They have missed years of education. And when they do arrive, what they have is only hope. The problem that we are getting as local traders, we don't have enough capital. So we are just bringing in some little that we are able to do. What interest rate do you think will be fair from the bank or from potential funders? If it will be below 10, 10 percent, it will be better. Because we shall be able to repay it back. How much do they charge you at the moment? 18. And if we take into consideration the huge economic potential for both refugees and the host population, we can actually have a true win-win situation. We have those people who can do the business, but we need a cooperation from outside. If we get scholarships for us to build our education capacity, we've been empowered in terms of livelihood, vocational training skills, at least we can make our life better. Most of the people we have met, including the educators, including the students, uh, young people, almost all of them wanted to learn something, leadership skills, specific jobs, etc. It's clearly something which could be aligned with the future of work. It relates to the aspiration, because what do we think of when we think about the future of work? It is the digital economy and how everybody can take part in that. It would be a very great idea to help to do something like a laboratory here to get these digital skills. We have come to not teach anybody, but we have come to learn. What have they done so well that we can learn from? I think this is a very humble way of thinking about it. We need to think about what do we want Kakuma to be in the next 12 years? What do we want to see? It's not that these are refugees, communities we need to help. It's these are people in a normal economy that want to build a normal economy. Self-employment is so different from entrepreneurship. And what is happening here is self-employment. If we, across the board, develop this common thread of building leadership, creating young global refugee leaders, but giving them that structure of mentorship, those particular areas in which we and successive YGLs have expertise, that's where we will enable the opportunity for gradual structural systemic change in the model of what a refugee camp is and can be. Kenya is actually very advanced compared to many other contexts in turning some of these high-level policy agreements at the international level into something real on the ground. The political climate is really in an optimal state to bring about basic health care to everyone. What can we do to have an impact now? We have the opportunity to actually meet four quite senior officials of the Kenyan government and field our first ideas. I think that we were a really diverse group and that helped a lot to build a proposal that I'm pretty sure will create a high impact to be given the opportunity to build upon what you've already started, to make Kakuma become the most entrepreneurial refugee setting in the whole of the world. And so we would like to connect refugees and host communities to our shared network. You're focused on centering on people and then building on their resilience to unleash the potential by training and connecting and capture. This afternoon, everything we were saying aligned with what they were thinking. So that really gave us a confidence as a team. Exposing a very diverse group of people to the realities here goes some way to helping us break this siloed kind of approach that we live in, where business people focus on business and humanitarian people focus on humanitarian. We think those pillars, those three C's if you like, connecting, coaching, and capital can make a fundamental difference if we can get that model right, making the most of public-private partnerships and bringing our networks to the benefit of refugees in Kakuma and the host community in Takana County and for Kenya as a whole.